And we're at the state capitol today, which is heavily fortified to keep any potential protesters out. And with these orange sandbags beside me, the razor wire, it really looks more like a prison than a place where our laws are made. And with this as a backdrop, State Representative Reginald Bolding listed off the police reforms he wants to enact this summer. Quite frankly, when I leave the state capitol, it is game on. I'm a black man in, in Arizona. I'm a black man in America. State Representative um, Reginald Bolding the, says he's, he's all too familiar with police misconduct. Course. I also recount the time that my father and I were both stopped um, by a police officer and it had a gun drawn on us uh, because we didn't have the lights on and we were driving on a highway. Uh, I could have been that dead black man because I didn't have the lights on in my car. Now Bolding is leading the efforts on police reform as protests continue to rock the state as well as the nation. House and Senate Democrats at the Capitol want meaningful changes that include a mandate that all officers wear body cameras and more independent investigations into deadly shootings and use of force. In response to Democratic lawmakers' demands, the governor's office issued a vague statement that reads, the governor appreciates their thoughtfulness. The governor is talking to legislatures of both parties, as you saw yesterday. He's also talking to community leaders. We'll be working with the legislature on any additional legislative action now that Sine die has occurred. We need absolutely substance to, to come along with these words and uh, not only we need a, a thoughtful response, we need complete action because what the governor cannot do is call for a special task force or call for just diversity among the police departments. We need true long lasting policy reforms. And again, the governor is supposed to call a special session later this month. We do not know exactly when. Now, the goal was to address COVID-related issues, specifically the economic fallout from the pandemic, as it now looks like the state is facing some pretty significant budget deficits. At the Capitol, Dennis Welch, Arizona's Family.